All right, you guys, we're here with the one and only Luke Skywalker. We're going to ask him some questions about Star Wars. So, Luke, what's your favorite Star Wars film? My favorite film would probably be the very first one, which is actually the fourth one. A New Hope. The first trilogy. There's a lot of math in that question. I apologize. That's okay. A New Hope. A New Hope. Very nice, very nice. What's your favorite lightsaber duel? Is it totally 100% mine? My favorite lightsaber duel was from the last season of Rebels, which featured the final battle between Obi-Wan and, I'm sorry, but you. That's okay, you know, you should, just... You should have swung low. I agree. I should have swung low. You know, that, that scene... No, I should have. Uh, you know, that was a lot like Yo Jimbo. You ever watched Yo Jimbo by Akira Kurosawa? No, I have not. Okay, you gotta watch. I think the second one. It's like made in the fifties. It's very reminiscent of that that uh, movie. I would recommend it. Um, what do you think of the controversy of your latest film, The Last Jedi? I think it had some bits for some people. Some people liked things a lot. Some people didn't like certain parts of it. Um, I'm kind of holding judgment to see what it looks like as a whole. Let's get the third movie out, and then let's look at it in its totality and see what we come up with. Uh, Luke the Negotiator. Very good, very good. Uh, tell me about your costume. Did you make... Well, not your costume, just your garb. Did you make it? So these are, uh, these are standard robes for wearing on a uh, very cold, windy, wet island. Mm -hmm. um, when you're li pretty much living in dirt huts, you want to wear you know, light colors as much as possible, especially if you have a lot of little creatures that do the laundry for you and keep it up. So mm -hmm. Fish nuns. Indeed, indeed. That's very nice. But uh, no, this was, uh, this was put together by a friend of mine. Do you want to know a Jedi secret? Hell yeah, I do. Now, this is why the Sith will never win. Yeah, well, Qui-Gon didn't exactly win, am because, I right? Because the Jedi, the reason people, people ask, why do the Jedi wear tabards? Mm. What purpose do they have? The tabards hold the secret pockets that we can put our phone and our keys and packs of gum in. That's, that's why we'll win. Very nice, very nice. Uh, does your cloak smell like fish? My sense of smell is not very good. As a matter of fact, yes. I see. And how did you make this animatronic action here? Uh, this was used, uh, this was made using an incredible device that takes uh, plastic and creates things out of thin air. Ah, a 3D printer? Some might call it that. We just like to call it sorcery. Sorcery, very good, very good. What do you think of Mark Hamill saying that he disagreed fundamentally with all the choices made for your character in The Last Jedi? How do you feel about that? Well, as an actor, he's very close to the character. And, you know, a a actors, some actors, especially with characters as beloved as Luke Skywalker, um, they're going to have very, very strong attachments to that. And there's almost nothing that any director could have done that would make the actor 100% happy. Mm -hmm. um, I do think he got a little bit of the short shift on the character, just a little bit. Could have used maybe a few more lines in the first movie. Like, you know, one is more than zero. Is it fair to call it the Skywalker trilogy when you weren't even in the first one? Um, I believe it is. I believe it is, yes. Fair enough, fair enough. Because we don't know if Rey is a Skywalker or not. Somebody's rising in the last movie and we don't know who it is yet. That's true. That's very, very true. Uh, do you think maybe Ryan should have listened to Mark a little bit more than he did? Hmm. That sounds like a political question. There's a reason I went and hit on an island, so I don't think I'll answer that one. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Uh, if you could tell Lucasfilm to make any movie that you want, and they would make it, what movie in the Star Wars universe, even like the Legends, whatever you want to do, what would you want to see made? It's your choice. Well... Um, obviously, immediately, I would say an Obi Wan trilogy with Ewan McGregor. I'm that should never happen, and is a terrible idea. But continue. Um, and then they should do another Obi Wan trilogy, which would be based, which would be Obi Wan, and then it would be subtitled, "The Guy Who Beat Darth Maul." And there would be part one, and then part two, and then part three, and then they would do a re-release of the three movies with additional footage of him kicking you like this a couple of times. I see, um, I see. Well, luckily, I don't think that movie is ever going to get made. Uh, but I would, like to, I would like them to go back and do some of, the, uh, some of the prequel stuff. Some of the Dark Horse source material was fantastic. So that would be great to see. Some of the XR Coon stuff, Naomi Sundrider would be great. This guy knows his shit. Uh, what about some prequel stuff of me defeating Black Sun, perhaps, or maybe me training under Emperor Palpatine. Maybe we could make those movies, huh? What do you think? Maybe like a miniseries at least? Come on, Luke. How about a, how about a, uh, how about a Darth Maul rom-com? 
Okay, you know, with, be, with Doth Talon, maybe? Yeah, yeah, you, you're a couple of brothers, and you take a road trip to uh, Coruscant, you know, and, you know, exactly, some wacky things happen. But Perhaps we have some death know. sticks, maybe we drink a little bit. Exactly. You know. then, you, then you join a fraternity, uh, you know, space fraternity. It'd be fun. It'd be great. I we, like... We could use more Darth Maul, because Darth, Darth Maul yeah. was the most awesome villain, and then, of course, he got... He had his part cut in half. We'll, we'll say it that way. We'll put it that way. My part was cut in half, okay? Uh, but no, I, I would love to see more Darth Maul. As would I. Is there anything else you'd like to say to Lucasfilm or just the fans or Mark Hamill or Darth Maul? Uh, no, just love what we have. I'm obviously a huge fan of Star Wars. It's been a huge part of my life. I was 12 when I saw the first movie in the theater, so... It uh, it was you know it was the perfect age. So I saw the Phantom Menace in theaters myself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You were in that though. So I was there. Yeah. yeah. I was there. Yeah, you were exactly. Well, Luke, you look incredible. I really appreciate the interview. Thank you for waiting around for a few minutes. Thank you. We all really appreciate it, right, guys? Yes. Right. Thank you.